Morning, welcome to a Kings at Home Daily. Um, we are carrying on our series in the Psalms. So why don't you, if you find yourself a Bible and head to Psalm 130, we're closing in on the end of the book of Psalms, uh, in fact. Um, if you are new visiting, uh, stumbled across this for the first time, this, uh, as it kind of says on the tin, a Kings at Home Daily, it's like a daily devotional. We just chew over God's word together each morning, uh, just to feed and encourage us. Um, as we all need, right? So, um, a really short psalm this morning, so let's uh, dive right in, and I'm going to draw a few points out for us. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could you stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits, and I put his word sorry and in his word i put my hope i wait for the lord more than watchmen wait for the morning more than watchmen wait for the morning israel put your hope in the lord for with the lord is unfailing love and with him is full of redemption he himself will redeem israel from all their sins and uh, i i i mean it's wonderful we've got we've got the the gospel there isn't we right in verses three and four you know if you kept a record of sins who could who could stand but with you there is forgiveness so that we can with reverence serve you with you with him there is forgiveness so we confess our sins he doesn't keep a record of them but with him there is forgiveness it's wonderful gospel truth in the middle of this small psalm isn't there and uh, you know ple pleading to god god hear me you know me you love me you forgive me you don't keep a record of my sins and then later on in in the psalm verses five about it talks about waiting for the lord and of course that speaks into the promise of an inherit of a uh, the fullness of an inheritance which is to come uh, of seeing and being with jesus um but it also just speaks of um of, of wait, uh, putting our hope in him and waiting in terms of the here and now and, and maybe there are situations in uh in your life today and you think um you think well I've, I'm, I've been waiting i've been waiting for god to answer that for maybe some uh, close family member or friend or something to come to to know the lord or um to be healed or some sort of breakthrough in maybe a relational difficulty or just some sort of circumstance you situation you just feel needs to turn around and you feel as though you've been patiently waiting and waiting on the lord for an answer and not seeing anything change and um it could be easy in those situations to lose hope can't it we're uh, currently uh, on uh, as a church on Sundays working our way through the book of Joshua and um, uh, a few weeks ago I spoke about uh, at the end of chapter one we we see the well actually in, in chapter one we see the um, God's people you know told to cross the Jordan and but they'd they'd been there before that if, if you read back into numbers 13 the uh, they'd sent spies to go and check out the land and they said yeah it looks good but uh all oh, the people there they're bigger than us and you know we're just like grasshoppers compared to them so we you know we shouldn't go and so they were in the wilderness for uh you know 40 odd years and and then here they are again at that moment about to cross the jordan and you know it must have been easy in those 40 odd years to lose hope to give up hope to give up hope. well did god really say did he promise you know did he promise to lead us into the into the promised land can we trust him for that and for us it can be easy to lose hope can't it we can keep praying for something for someone for a situation and not see it change and think well i've, I've it's easy to lose hope it's easy to to uh, to give up on god but um i would and this psalm would encourage us to wait on the lord in his word put our hope in his word put our hope verse 7 put your hope in him put your hope in the lord for with the lord is unfailing love so we're to put our hope in him we're to trust him we're to trust his word but we're not to to give up hope we're to keep hold of that hope and and that sometimes means waiting all these sometimes we don't we, you know we only see in part don't we and we, we don't really understand the timing and the reasons in all of these things but we're to hold on to him we're to trust him we're to put our hope in him so this morning whatever situation you're looking at and you're just thinking oh it feels a bit hopeless um god I've, where are you in this situation i encourage you wait on him trust him give it to him don't give up your hope and your confidence in him 
put your hope and your confidence and your trust in him bless you church i hope that has encouraged you and uh look forward to uh yeah closing out our uh, uh our series in the psalms uh soon bye now